gouache. So today I'd really like to dive in and use my gouache, which I don't think I've used in... I'd probably actually estimate over two years. I have two brands. I have Aquafine Gouache by Daler Rowney. And then I have two from, uh, I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> Anyway, I get a lot of requests to use watercolor. I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon, but this is the closest we're gonna get. Basically, this is an opaque watercolor. If I remember correctly, I actually liked acrylic gouache better. It's basically acrylic paint mixed with gouache so that it doesn't like reactivate with water, whereas these you can reactivate with water, so you gotta be careful. Yeah, I got some paints, I got a pencil, I got a sketchbook. I grabbed some paint brushes, we'll need those. I also got out <laughs> my good old flower palette, clean water and dirty water cups, and some masking tape. I really want to draw like a clown, like a cutesy, like has a TikTok clown, you know, that vibe with the super red nose. Yeah, let's see what happens. Before I can draw something, I gotta figure out what the something is that I'm drawing, obviously. So I'm just gonna kind of sketch something out. So I'm gonna start with like a square. And we'll put like a face in there. I'd like to start small and kind of see how it goes since I haven't used this medium in so long. Oh, you gotta do like that. What is this even trendy anymore? That like TikTok wavy bob. And obviously a red nose. I feel like a big smile. Ooh, what kind of outfit though? Isn't that a like, ooh, it's more like a jester. Those like pom poms on there. I feel like big poofy sleeves. I probably should have done some outfit design first. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just like so excited to just throw some paints at this though. Just kind of see how it goes. I'm seeing pink or orange hair. Maybe that's the TikTok I'm thinking. Some kind of hat. Do clowns wear hats? Maybe a big ponytail. Pull the hair back. So then the ponytail will make just a little bit more sense. Keeping the bangs. Now should I add like a line art? I also just want to practice to see how this paper kind of can hold up. Just make a little square. That way we can add like a little wash, maybe an underpainting. I don't know. Do I look like I know what I'm talking about? This is why I hide my face, so you can't tell. Oh, it looks so cute in a little border though. It doesn't even need color. Okay, let's grab this guy. This paper is uh, not watercolor paper, by the way. I was kind of thinking I was going to be using acrylic gouache when I sat down to do this, but I am not. So we're in all sorts of predicaments. All right, I'm going to just plop some of this portrait pink, maybe a little bit of water in this big brush and do like an underpainting. I think you're not supposed to do this with regular gouache because it's liftable, but I don't know. I'm kind of just tempted to see what happens. <laughs> I gotta pave my own path, learn things the hard way. There we go. Looking orange. And then we have primary colors, so I thought that would work really well for like a clown. I don't know. We'll just kind of throw some about. This is our uh, alizarin crimson. We also have cadmium yellow. I'm sure we'll probably want a lot of white, which is kind of why I'm glad I have this big boy. Oh, it's Royal Talons. That's the brand. Here we go. I can see it buckling. Yeah, wrong paper for this, but that's fine. All right, and I'm gonna throw some white. I might as well use the small guy first, because if I run out of one, then I can throw one away instead of having two half full ones like I do now. Mm-hmm, and some black. Okay, what's the next plan? I really want to do that like bright red nose. So maybe I'll take a smaller brush. I'm gonna take some water and the red and maybe make some of, some of this pink just to kind of keep it, I don't know, try and control the color scheme here. We'll kind of this color in the nose and we'll go for the ears too. Now it's an opaque art supply, so I guess we can always kind of change it up. I don't know, kind of go in color in the face. Oh wait, if it's a clown, don't they usually wear like white makeup? We're gonna need a lot more white. Mm-hmm. Yes, I do have no idea what I'm doing. But I do want that like more skinny tone that I had for maybe the neck. See the difference? Wow, it's really gooey. I don't know why the white feels like I'm trying to paint with gum, but it does. I'm also trying to just figure out what the technique is best for this. Like obviously markers, you kind of layer differently than you would layer acrylic paint. I'm just trying to remember how any of that even goes. <laughs> now I believe this art supply dries real quick. We'll see how the palette survives. I'm gonna just go in with straight white now though. I feel like these things would be white. They're cute. Look at the little pop pumps. Maybe the whole fuzzy thing. Oh. Do I know what I'm doing? No. Is it fun? Yes. Oof. She's getting lost. Where'd she go? Should we go with like pastels? Ooh, look how fun the blue looks on all this warm tones. It'd look really good as like a shading too. Like underneath things. That makes me want to give her blue hair. Yeah, stuff's really thick and opaque, which is fun. I feel like it's even more opaque than uh, my acrylics. I feel like it's something that's always kind of bugging me about acrylics is that sometimes they're just too transparent, depending on the color. Okay, she's looking a little snow white. What if we grab this and some yellow? Make an orange. 
I've done no pre-planning, which is kind of going in. No, don't like that as the hair color. Hmm. Don't think that improved this at all. So things are not dry, so they're exploding. <laughs> all right, this is ugly, but maybe it's just the ugly stage. We don't know. Most art has an ugly stage. Also, I feel like my paintings that turn out well are the ones where I'm like, whatever, it's ugly. It's just how it's gonna be. Let me just keep working at it. And then it turns out nice. So we'll just let it dry a little. We'll find out. Ooh, whoops were a bad idea. Whoops were a bad idea. Obviously things will change as we refine the face. I'm also feeling like the hair should be a little pinker. Try that. Sort of that like greenish brown. Gonna make the hair more clown like. It's like trying to paint with frosting. So sticky. Yeah, not the right color for that. Oops. I'm gonna let that dry and then we'll touch it again. Kind of want to design the outfit since I had no idea. So painting it, I'm like, why are we putting colors here? But I will kind of see in my head. Maybe she keep her kind of simple. Head, hair of some kind, you know. Do I want this like Jester Harley Quinn thing? And like how many pom-poms do I want? Okay, uh-huh. Yep, that like body. I'm definitely feeling strong primary colors, you know? What about some kind of dress? Maybe a tight top. Up so that I can have these big poofy things kind of coming out from there. And it won't really distract and maybe you can even see the one behind. It's four pieces. And maybe some kind of dress. Or those like shorts that are like poofy. <laughs> some kind of slipper. Hair. I do like the idea of some kind of poofy sleeve though. So I might have to tone down that part. So if we make it like smaller. So it's more like a tomato on the top of our shoulders. Then we can have maybe still a skinny top. It could even like some kind of corset and like big flowy sleeves. Could even have it be like a leotard or like mini high socks. Something about that feels right. And like maybe big poofy things at the end of these. Maybe more of these things since it's smaller. Pigtails? That's kind of cute. <laughs> I liked the bangs. Do we still want like the short hair? I feel like you gotta have lots of those like diamonds somewhere. Let's try again. Let's try again. I like that hair. I feel like it definitely suits that like TikTok vibe I was saying. The tinier thing maybe with more of those guys. Tighter top. And let me try a dress. Would it have like lots of ruffles? Or maybe ruffles on the end of each layer? But then do we want the puffy sleeves too? Actually, I kind of like the idea of the gloves. So maybe smaller sleeves? Gloves with the little poofy thing on them? Could even do that with the socks too. Kind of like them all in their own way. Might also just, I was gonna say throw some marker on these, but the whole point's to kind of practice with these, so I think that'd be a better idea. I'm gonna try one with blues. Try just completely different colors, maybe. White gloves. Would this skirt thing be kind of white? What if I add like a little bit as pink with blue? Cool it down. Something like that for the skin. I don't usually do cool skin tones, so I'm gonna really force myself to do this. I gotta expand my boundaries. And then we need the white face paint. All right, now for the nose, we're gonna have to go with a lot of blue, I think, unless I want to do some warmth in it. I'm gonna have to put some more of this into here. Water. Just seems to make it run a little smoother, I'm learning. Be a bow. It's more like a tutu at this point. Slightly warmer face. Just adding yellow to see what would happen. And it's a little odd. What if we make one of these bows yellow? And like one of these feet yellow. Now the blue hair feels out of place. This whole thing was supposed to look kind of blue and it really doesn't. I think it's cooler, but it just didn't end up like blue blue, you know? <laughs> kind of looks like an ice cream sandwich. I basically just add a color and then throw it everywhere. Ooh, what if these were hearts? Ooh, cute. It's really kind of cute. And it's like in the direction I'm going for. I wouldn't say it's quite there yet, but I like it. 
very interesting vibe. It doesn't really look like anything I usually draw, and I think that's kind of why I'm attached to it, but I don't think I would have mixed all the colors with blue. I was gonna restart this because originally going in, I was like, oh, it's gonna be like sort of analogous in blue. It didn't end up that way. And what I don't like about it is all the blue undertones of everything. Just kind of muddies it. So we'll let that one dry. This is just about dry. I was thinking if I used red to create like a liner. Okay, that helps a lot. It looks less demonic already. That's kind of just too small. I feel like I just need to make a much bigger one. I'll make like a gray color. I kind of just want to cut in and create a shape. I love how it goes on so opaque. Sometimes it dries a little bit more transparent because I added so much water, but I feel like that's something I could definitely learn to control. Okay, it doesn't look at all the way I pictured it when I started that, but it's painted with gouache and that was the goal. Hey, little wins, little wins. Straw face, much bigger this time. Okay, and the big clown nose. If you like to make it look more like a clown nose, you kind of like close up the space between it because it would be covering that. Should I make it more circular than that, do you think? Also, they usually draw on their no- uh, 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 okay. They usually draw on their eyebrows, right? Because it's like all paint. I kind of like the idea of the pigtails. Maybe the bangs as well. Do we just include every hair element possible? <laughs> I don't know why, it's just not quite turning out the way I have it in my head. Which, you know, happens. And I feel like usually I would kind of attribute that to an art block. But I refuse! My art wants to not turn out the way I expect it to. It's allowed to, but I'm not gonna let it stop me. What is it that's in my head that is not popping out? I feel like I need to figure that out before I would be able to draw it. I can fix this, you know? If I don't know what it's missing, how would I ever add it? Also, I haven't quite figured out the outfit yet either. So we're not there yet. I like the idea of the two different colored bows. I wonder if there's like other places we could add different colors. I like those little socks too. Pointy sleeves. What if I had those little dangly things here? And they could kind of follow the flow of the sleeves and add an extra ruffle to this. There we go. Now that's the right proper size of the nose. <laughs> I'm gonna try a line art on this. Nothing too thin, I don't think. Maybe at 05. Okay, the face is what's still wet, so we'll avoid that area. Just kind of refine some of the shapes. Make it a little more readable. Somehow I think I'm making it worse. <laughs> Maybe we're just in uh, one of those ruts. Am I catching art block happening live? Oh my god. I'm just gonna go over this again because it's kind of my favorite thing on the page right now. Wow. I'm speechless. Like, I can see things that I like, like certain elements, but just like as a whole, I'm just thoroughly disappointed with what I am outputting. I haven't felt this in so long. Like, usually like something turns out bad, so then I just draw something else. I'm like, okay. But I'm just having a hard time with everything to do. And this is definitely what I've always considered art block, when you just can't draw anything that you like. And a lot of the times it just doesn't, like, you see it in your head and you try to draw it and it's just like, okay, nothing looks at all the way it does in my head. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've had this in years. It used to be way more debilitating when I was little, but this is what it feels like. At least I'm not like crying, so I haven't lost yet. I just add more vibrant versions on top. Everything looks a little more saturated. Step in the right direction, maybe. Maybe I should just go back to my good old markers to see if I can just force something out of me. Maybe pull it a little bit more in the like Raggedy Ann direction. I'm not so sure. I'm just so directionless. You know what I'm thinking? Since I'm fighting the paintbrushes a little bit, I wanna draw something, maybe just a face that fills up this whole kit and caboodle. Let me see where that takes me. I'm willing to try something, so here we go. Maybe draw the nose in last so that I make sure it's not like kind of altering any of the other facial features. I feel like, yeah, drawing in the eyebrows like that. Far more clown-like, like they're triangles. <laughs> so I'm gonna draw in a nose. I can draw in a mouth. More relative to that nose. Is there a little off? Move them a smidgen. I also like the idea of like really playing up the makeup since Clown's gonna be wearing a lot of it. Also, I feel like this is getting too detailed. It's kind of weirdly creepy and cartoon mixed together. I don't know. Whatever I said earlier about things not turning out the way I wanted to them, I mean that again. <laughs> I'm just so unhappy with what I'm making. Ooh, yeah. No, mm -mm, I can't. Oh my gosh. 
I just want to erase the whole thing. Like again, I can still see things that I like appreciate about it. Like I kind of like the nose. I think the nose turned out really well, but also the nose was going to get erased anyway. Okay, I really want to try and kick this though. I want to like prove that you can. I usually can focus on the positives to the point where I can kind of understand why I'm feeling that way or whatever. Okay, no crazy angles. We're just, we're got cutting to my good old guilty pleasures. We will find something that works. We'll do a nice three quarter view smile looking to the left. You know, we're not trying to win any awards here. So like a nice smile though. Take that art block. Also maybe something a little on the cartoonier side. We need a neck. A little uh, chin shadow. This is kind of disappointing because I want to like really design the outfit and stuff, but we're facing different issues here. Gotta face the problem as it comes. <gasps> you know what would be cute? Like a cross-eyed tongue sticking out. We can do that. You have to redo the mouth to kind of fit the eyes now. Get a little scrunch around the nose. I also want to make it look happy though, you know. It's like lips, I guess. I feel like a hand might make sense in here somewhere. Oh, do I want that fun hair with the three bang pieces? Oh, running out of space. Okay, okay. This has got something. I'm thinking actually we're gonna draw in the nose and just paint it red instead of giving it a big squishy nose. Now it should be kind of scrunched because she's scrunching up her face will be kind of hard to paint, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> nope. Mm -mm. This is one of those days. I'm very friendly with the eraser. I don't know if I believe in myself enough to paint this. Maybe I should just paint something from a reference. Because then when I get lost, I can kind of just check the reference, you know? I want to figure out any more of this outfit that's visible. I don't know. I'm going to add the tape, though. Actually, let me see if this worked. Ooh, that edge. Mwah. It makes all the pain worth it. Let's uh, do that to this then. I just want to have a nice beautiful edge. I think I'm going to like kind of line it up with the bottom of the sketchbook. And I'll probably clip it down too. Maybe it'll help with moisture. If nothing else, it'll give us a nice clean border, which just makes art look better anyway, no matter how it turns out. So. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm finding little things to be pleased. That's good news. Also, figure out what colors we're gonna use oh my gosh what am i doing maybe part of art block is a lack of preparedness <laughs> that makes a lot of sense in my book i think i want to lean towards warmer colors with maybe blue as an accent use my bigger brush i'm gonna just color in the eyes with some white it's got a little bit of red in it I just kind of want to lay in some big flat colors first though anything that's white a little transparent at the moment. We'll give it its fair shot. That's the only stuff that's white. Oh, and then the face has to be like a nice white too. I feel like that's my problem is I keep trying to make this thing white, but then the face needs to be white. So then they kind of distract from each other. Do a nice pasty white, a little pink, more pink in it. Kind of thinking of the slightly darker areas, like under the eyes, under the nose, hair. I'm just plopping the colors around. Oh, I meant to move this. Might be too late. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like once I get a base layer, then I can kind of get a better vibe too. Okay, so we have a nice kind of rough base layer with a few variations. I'm gonna switch to a smaller brush probably. Unless there's something I can think of that really needs to go in here. Well, I guess we need the red nose. How do we make that look like makeup? Maybe with a dry brush blended hours around the edge. Also, I think adding more white to the face would be extremely beneficial. Should look like, I think it should be that color. So I'm gonna add more white to this so that I can do that thing, you know? Okay. Maybe if I add more cooler shadows to it, it'll look more like white face paint, you know? Maybe if it's got more blue undertones. Let's try it. I'll just keep layering. I do think that helps. I'm finally moving in the right direction. Even a little blue eyeshadow might be fun. But then I should probably color the ears with a more natural tone. I'll switch to a small paintbrush. A little shadow. Just so blue. Not a huge fan. <laughs> I just feel like the face paint always just looks so white. Or maybe I just need to go in with white. There's not gonna be a whole lot of shading then. This is looking a little silver. I had some blue left on my paintbrush. Okay, it's giving me much more of a face paint vibe. Maybe because it has just like less shading to it. I think I'll go with that same color for the hair, the nose color. 
I'm gonna need a bigger paintbrush. Apply bigger, flatter washes, you know. Add a little blue to the piece behind here. Mm-hmm. That's some pupils. This is too early to be doing this, but I gotta relish in the moments I like. So if I have to do it again, it's not a problem. I really like doing the eyes. <laughs> I feel like also the eyebrows would probably be this color. So I'm going with the triangles. Okay, that's not really dark. Now it's too purple. Ooh, what a perfect tongue color. How did this happen? What is this? What is that? Orange now. Is this really what I used for the skin tone originally? <laughs> I do think I might want a little blue on the eyes. Like eyeshadow. Let's add some blue down here and give the illusion of another shirt. <laughs> this needs another layer of red. It looks a little patchy. A little highlight. I'm thinking about filling in the background just with yellow so there's more primary colors. I'll grab a bigger paintbrush, probably a little water, smoothing it out. Yeah, Whoa. see, now this is what I need. This is just what I need in my life. Some nice flat washes. Oh, nice and blobby. That's actually something I usually recommend when you're in art block is just get some paint and blob it around and see what happens. <laughs> Sometimes just having big, chunky strokes can ignite your inspiration. Try to remove as much of the white as possible. That just adds such a nice, you know, pop. So I need to figure out how to make that ear pop, though. It is blending in way too much. Not sure if that worked. Because it's just weird that they're not, like, the same color as the face paint, you know? Just adding, like, a little bit of skin around the edges of things, because, like, how could you ever get it? Perfect, right? I also want to just kind of paint over the nose some more. It just doesn't quite look like a nose. But I feel like to do that, I'm going to need a whole new palette, because this got real messy, and I think I'll have a hard time getting the colors right, or at least, like, controlling them. Ooh, that's some better nostrils already. I think I need to be a little darker in the spots. Ooh. I like that. I also wanted like those uh, crazy lashes on here, so while we're here, might as well. Ooh, wait. I think I've seen like clowns with just a line drawn across their eyes like this. So you just kind of like continue that. Hey, looks very clowny. Oh, this is perfect for like a line art. I just have to go around and add some line art. At least it's drawn pretty smooth. Hmm. When did the face change shape? Looks a little funky. I really like that nose. I don't know what I did, but it looks so much better now. I think we're reaching the end of the line here. I definitely just feel better now. Whether the art block vibe is completely gone, I don't know. But this feels like a good place to take a break. Because before, I was like, oof. You know when art block's like really strong and you're just like, well, I don't think I'd ever need to draw it ever again in my life. I think I survived that part. I drew through it. I drew through it. And I really like the way this looks when it's really small. Like every time I take a step back, I'm like, oh, it's kind of nice. Like it's, obviously there's lots of flaws to it. I'm not a huge fan of how the art supply looks. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? Like it's just so patchy. And I think with like time, I could totally fix that. Like that's a patience problem. Gabriel face. I like the way it feels. It's very chalky. Oh yeah. Another thing I always recommend with art block is to try not to think about it too much. Don't go, oh, I'm leaving this, but instead take a break. So I feel like I am in a place where I could walk away from this without hating myself. So that's a benefit. I think I will remove the tape though. That part always brings me joy. So we'll try that. Here we go. Ooh. That's not bad at all. I wonder if my masking tape is bad. I feel like every time I've ever tried to do this, stuff gets underneath there. So it's either the art supply or the tape. Ooh, so sharp. You could cut something. Hey, hey, hey. Beautiful. Oh, I love that. I just love the edge of the page with the white border. It just looks so much more important than it is. But how fun is that? I really like the sketch. I feel like I did not like it at the time too, so. That's also another thing. Art block might be perspective. Also, I've noticed, and I haven't had art block in a while, like I was saying, but 
when it would happen, I always feel like once I got out of it, I just had this impression that I was drawing so much better than I've ever drawn before in my life, which I feel like just knowing that or just trying to consider that that's a possibility at the end of the road, because like, I don't think you think about it at the time, because like whenever you fall into art block, you just think this is the end. But I just try to like, just be patient. I definitely think patience, lack of patience is a big art block causer for me. Like when I think, oh, this will be simple and I sit down and do it and it's not simple and I'm getting impatient. That's when I know I need to take a break. Today I thought I could maybe push through it. So this is what that looks like. I definitely just have a weird lukewarm feeling though still. So we'll see. I'll check in later, probably next week and we'll see what we're working with. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching. Come along with me as I try an art supply that I hadn't tried in a very long time. And I kind of remember why I don't. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all next week. And I hope you all have a delicious evening. Get a little close up. There's really much close up even though I like it further away much better <laughs> well we've got autofocus working beautiful i think that might be my fave i also really like this one to be honest i feel like if last week i was super giddy in my video this week i'm like super mellow <laughs> see what happens next week bye